Triton has many creatures that live by our shorelines, but the other day in Squid Cove I came across a jelly-like plankton that I had not seen before. Upon researching these new life forms in our cove, I found by photo comparison that they are called comb jelly, or technically they are referred to as Phylum tenophora. There are actually around 150 known species in this category. Comb jellies are marine creatures and are very strange looking, but some people find them quite beautiful, despite their alien appearance. Comb jellies are not related to jellyfish. They have egg-shaped bodies that have two trailing sticky tentacles. Their bodies consist of two translucent skins which cover a jelly-like membrane. Inside there is a structure known as the comb, hence their name. Each jelly have many combs or long ridges covered in cilia that run along the length of their bodies. As the cilia moves within the body, it propels the jelly through the water. The cilia in motion is quite beautiful. Depicted are pulsating colors created by the motion of the cilia within. These creatures will go unnoticed by most people. You really cannot pay much heed to them unless you are looking for them. For me, I accidentally noted them while using my underwater camera while out fishing. Later, while walking near this wharf, I surprisingly observed them with great interest. The comb jellies have long flowing frilly tentacles that are used to catch their prey. Most people who come across comb jelly will respond the same way they would when encountering a jellyfish. You may cringe with the idea that they will sting you if touched. As it is true with jellyfish, it is not so with comb jelly, as they do not possess stinging cells within their tentacles. Comb jellies are considered plankton because the ocean currents move them over long distances. But the comb jelly can, as seen here, move up and down and even rotate in circles with the help of the cilia within their combs. As far as reproduction goes, the comb jelly is a hermaphrodite and will generate eggs and fertilize their own. Most will fertilize their eggs in the water, although some will fertilize them within their own body. These creatures are carnivorous. They feed on other plankton, small crustaceans, fish larvae, and fish eggs. With the use of their sticky tentacles, they will catch their prey. Once the prey is attached, the tentacle is extracted and wiped clean across the comb's mouth. Enjoy these last few moments with the comb jelly without my intervention. I hope to bring you more video in the near future and maybe another special event from our beautiful home of Newfoundland. Thank you again for your support.